Hello guys, welcome back to CGI Made Simple. In today's video I'll show you how to resolve the following problem. If you want to create nice drawing, nice looking furniture in Revit and you do found a Revit family object that it's looking like this and unfortunately that when you select some of the parts of the object, the mesh, there is no option here to change the visibility to hide the visibility like for instance in this sofa there is a visibility so you can draw something over it and just turn this off. How to resolve this problem? So you can freely download everything you want and use any furniture you would like to have in 3D and to have a nice 2D representation like this one over here. Let's jump into it. Firstly, you can press File, New and create new family. I'll go for English and choose generic model. Open and go here into Insert load family and you can choose the Revit family that you want to apply and use further on. When you, if you press um, pla pra place component or you can go here to families it depends whether it's generic model, special equipment or furniture type you can dra drag and drop it here in the project. Place it. I would suggest you to place it in the middle of these reference lines. And if you press now the object, there we go, we have this visibility setting. Why do we need it so badly? It's because of I'll go here to annotate and with mask region drew create a 2D representation of this chair let's say I'll, do, I'll go for something simpler just for this um, tutorial like this like this and something for the handles for the arms here something like this and then I'll copy this over here. This will be my uh, representation to the OK representation and if I jump to hidden line like this now I'll have in floor plan this 2D representation. The only thing that I need to do is to select the 3D object Go to visibility settings from here from the ribbon or here in the properties visibility graphics edit and I will hide this in for floor plan of course you can draw something for the front left the rest of the views and you can draw different things for your detail level we have a course uh, we have uh, small course let's say or tutorial about it you can find in the description the last thing I need to do is to load this family into my project and voila I have now this chair looking simplified for my drawings here is the place where I would like to add some information why some of the furniture are looking like this and the other one are like a web spider web or something this is because this one was built in Revit with the extrusions reveals and so all of the tools that you can find here by default and some families are imported from different software that's why they're looking like this and sometimes we need to use tricks like the one that I show you just right now. 
Now after you know all of these things and these tricks you can freely use all types of models and formats that you need to and you can enrich your projects. If you like it consider to subscribe and hit the bell icon. This was for this video. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed anything in the video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.